a short video to demonstrate how to draw a geometric net for a rectangular prism or a cube. In this case, we'll be, we will be using a cube. However, the steps are the same for doing a rectangular prism. This is typically something you have to do in your mentally, in your head, uh, but it's helpful to see it visually or to do it yourself a few times before you have to try and do this in your head. So I will be taking this cube in front of you and unfolding it when you create whatever shape it is you're dealing with. Okay, so as you can see, each side is folding down, and we're creating a flat two-dimensional shape. object to get a two-dimensional shape, kind of like the pattern for that cube, in this case the cube, it's the pattern for the cube. This would be the same process as for rectangular prisms, however, instead of faces that are squares, you would have faces that are rectangles. I'm going to fold this back up to see if we can unfold it a different way to get a different net. You'll notice this one is kind of in the shape of a cross. Let's see if we can get something else. I'm going to start un unfolding it again, but in a slightly different way than I did before. And hopefully you can already mentally finish this out and see that I'm going to get a different shape for my neck. It is possible, especially with cubes and rectangular prisms, to have more than one pattern for your neck. Try, and this is also a possibility. You know, not every pattern that I draw will create, when folded up, will create the shape that I want. Basically, when we have a cube, we have six squares. And when I fold them up, I want to get a cube. But not every shape or pattern that I draw with six squares will create a cube when folded up. And this is where you have to kind of use your mind a little bit. What, it, what you will get as the end result. Lucky for us, we have this tool that we can actually do it and see. So I'm going to move this a little bit so we can see better. And I'm folding this up to see if we're going to get a cube. Hopefully you can kind of mentally picture this. Alright, as you can see already, we're running into a problem. I don't have any space for the bottom. It's open. It's a hole. And then if I switch around to the top here, or this other side, the opposite side, I have a problem because I have two faces now to fold over, and they're going to end up folding on top of each other. Okay, so that one folds in, but now we have another one to fold down, and they're going to overlap. So this will not create a cube. Okay, so just be careful. You can have nets that won't create cubes. You can also have more than one 